Hey guys, it's Kira here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to tell you guys what it's like to work a 12-hour night shift. Okay? Um, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that's literally like overnight. Let's get right into the details. So I don't know what you want to hear first. I don't know if you want to hear pros or cons first. But we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the pros. So the pros is it's all the way at night. So, you know, you got your whole day. Um, you get days off um, at the job I'm at anyway. And then, yeah, the cons definitely outweigh the pros. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get right into the cons because now I'm thinking of cons. So the cons... Alright, y'all. I had to change up my setting. So I hope that this looks okay. Oh, that did not do me any favors. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, heck. Alright, y'all. I had to change up the setting a little bit, so um cons so some cons that you gotta be prepared for if you really think that this is the shift for you let me let you know on some cons girl or guy so one con would definitely be um you're working overnight so that means you gotta sleep sometime during the day it can be in the morning as soon as you get off or it can be like a few hours later or something like that so you have your morning you know you gotta sleep you gotta figure out when you're gonna sleep and then two your eating schedule changes so sleeping and eating ch uh, schedule changes and um okay I'm not making this setting work at all so I really hope that this looks okay um so oh yeah i need that light so um so that's basically what i gotta say about the days that you work on okay those two things change and that's a con okay yeah so the days that you get off like in the morning you're ready you're probably ready to go to sleep um so course you gotta sleep then you gotta figure out like okay when you wake up you may have to set an alarm because you work 12 hours you may not have to set an alarm because you might naturally just get up around one or two um the pros to that is that you got like a few hours before work but me i don't wake up till last minute like four or five and I have to set an alarm because if I don't set one, I will literally wake up right at 7 um, or 6. So, yeah. And Now, so the cons, the real cons kick in on your days off. So, of course, on your days off, you're not going to really know when to go to sleep at first, of course. Or when you should be up. So... It takes a while to also get used to these hours because, you know, everybody naturally sleeps at night. So it's going to take your body a while to wake up, to go to sleep at, um, it's going to take a while for you to uh, be up overnight, um, naturally for a while. So, um, you're going to be, um probably trying to figure that out for a while for especially for your days off it's gonna take you to get used to that and your eating schedule is gonna take a while to get used to so on your days off what do you do so on my days off i like to try and keep it the same way as my days that i work so now i gotta get to what i do for that um so basically all I do is this light is not really working for me. So basically all I really do. So you get used to eating schedule 
I mean, so if you get used to the night schedule, here's what I do on my days off. So on my days off, I like to, um, still sleep during the morning and be up during midday and all like overnight. So that way I can stay in that, um, thing. But I've been up since, and it's currently 1250. I've been up since the middle of the night I think and sometimes that will happen um and it's okay I think but I don't know um because I think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight for real um and that will still happen even after you get used to it it'll still happen every now and then because we naturally supposed to sleep at night so so if you find yourself awake at night and you're wondering okay so what do I do like all the places that you can go to hang out with people or clothes. Um, everybody sleeps so you can't hang out with people. This is what I recommend. Well, this is what I do. So you can, these are things you can do. You can watch YouTube. You could, you can watch Netflix. You could go on a late night drive. You could see like if you know a night owl you could literally call them and talk on the phone with them for a few hours it, it normally takes me a few hours because I always talk a lot um you could do things you would normally do during the daytime when you're alone like shower uh yeah those are some cons yeah yeah those are yeah, because places are closed. That's a con. Everybody sleep. That's a con. Um, but there's always something for you to do. So you could do those things. Um, shoot, you can. I mean, it's not too much you can do. But there's, there's still going to be stuff that you can do at night. And you could always just browse look up random stuff uh browse youtube look up random stuff um uh make plans for the morning make plans for the day the next day um and yeah and then so definitely just make sure that you share this video with anybody you feel like may need it you think anybody that you know that is thinking about going to the night shift and they're used to first or second um, make sure you share this video so they can be informed um this stuff is kind of stuff that you'll probably automatically think of when you're thinking about switching shifts but i just want to let you know the reality that it is really hard to get adjusted like it it can take a long time for you to fully get adjusted and I, I felt like I was fully adjusted and I'm still not and I just want to say honestly I think it's it is more convenient um for a lot of people and that's why a lot of people are thinking about doing it or are doing it um but if you're just trying it out so I think I named four cons. Um, so uh, I think that's it. So thanks guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry if this was a long video to you or if this was a drunk, very dragged out video. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and I will definitely hit you guys with another video if I feel like I forgot anything. Um, and feel free to comment and please always, always make sure that you do like, comment, and subscribe.